Donald Trump's critique of the current administration's handling of major issues like border security and job creation underscores his mounting frustration with what he views as a failure in leadership. His remarks reflect a demand for political leaders to honor their promises and confront the nation's pressing concerns effectively. Trump's sharp criticism extends to energy policy, military strength, and national security, calling for decisive leadership that transcends ideological talk and delivers real, tangible results. So she just started by saying she's going to do this, she's going to do that, she's going to do all these wonderful things. Why hasn't she done it? She's been there for three and a half years. They've had three and a half years to fix the border. They've had three and a half years to create jobs and all the things we talked about. Why hasn't she done it? She should leave right now, go down to that beautiful White House, go to the Capitol, get everyone together and do the things you want to do, but you haven't done it and you won't do it because you believe in things that the American people don't believe in. You believe in things like we're not going to frack. We're not going to take fossil fuel. We're not going to do things that are going to make this country strong, whether you like it or not. Germany tried that. And within one year, they were back to building normal energy plants. We're not ready for it. We can't sacrifice our country for the sake of bad vision. But I just ask one simple question. Why didn't she do it? We're a failing nation. We're a nation that's in serious decline. We're being laughed at all over the world. All over the world, they're laughed. I know the leaders very well. They're coming to see me. They call me. We're laughed at all over the world. They don't understand what happened to us as a nation. We're not a leader. We don't have any idea what's going on. We have wars going on in the Middle East. We have wars going on with Russia and Ukraine. We're going to end up in a third world war, and it'll be a war like no other because of nuclear weapons, the power of weaponry. I rebuilt our entire military. She gave a lot of it away to the Taliban. She gave it to Afghanistan. What these people have done to our country, and maybe toughest of all, is allowing millions of people to come into our country. Many of them are criminals, and they're destroying our country. The worst president, the worst vice president in the history of our country. Trump's portrayal of the U.S. as being in decline, mocked by other nations taps into conservative anxieties about preserving national strength and prestige. His rhetoric centers on the administration's perceived failure to secure the border and maintain military power, framing these as issues where practical, outcome-driven solutions should take precedence over political grandstanding. At the heart of these critiques lies a broader conversation about leadership failure, accountability, and the existential responsibility of those in power. Public sentiment increasingly revolves around the demand for leadership that not only addresses crucial national matters, but also fulfills its promises with authenticity and integrity. Trump's criticisms highlight a deeper struggle for meaning and leadership in a time of perceived national decline and global challenges. This ongoing tension between political accountability, decisive action, and genuine leadership is crucial to how different ideologies interpret and propose solutions to these complex problems. 